Hello everyone, welcome to my first trophy guide for Hitman 2. We are going to earn the house cleaning trophy in this video. Now, I want to thank Warner Brothers for providing me with an advanced copy of the game. So the house cleaning trophy is going to require you to kill Alma Reynard. She is the target of the Hawks Bay map. We have to kill her in three different ways. We have to kill her while her boyfriend Orson is showering. We also have to kill her from the roof of the panic room. And we also have to kill her with a pillow. So the first method I'm going to show you is killing her from the roof of the panic room. Now you can do three separate runs of this if you'd like. I'm actually going to do this kind of in one run using a couple clever save points and reload so I can just go uh, take a different path once we get to the branching parts. So I'll walk you through all of that if you want to earn this trophy. It's going to take about 15 minutes of total time. That's going to require a little bit of patience on your part, a lot of waiting involved. So here's a screwdriver in the pool room. I'm going to use a screwdriver to break open this pot, revealing a key to the house. And then of course pick up the key and the screwdriver, why not? Now you can also take the screwdriver and enter from the garage if you want to go to the other side of the house. But I feel like this is probably the most efficient, quickest way to get into it. Now your main objective here uh, initially is to gather intel from the client. And you're going to do that by accessing this computer up in this room here on the second floor. Well, if the computer is locked, there's actually a USB key, access key in this hidden room. So just interact with that painting if you don't have a weapon on you grab one here grab a pistol if you'd like and that'll come into play later now we're going to come over here we're going to pick up a lock pick the computer access key the and then we're going to destroy the surveillance here Nicely done, 47. so now we're going to go three. over to the computer and this is going to initiate a cutscene. i am actually going to cut this we don't need to watch the cutscene. now once the cutscene is over that you can control your character. You're going to have some uh, enemies come in through the front door, but I'm going to create a manual save here. This is where my story, my kills are going to branch for the first time. So create a manual save in whichever slot you'd like. Now what I need to do is find some poison and then go up to the roof. So I'm going to exit this door, climb through the window into the bathroom and step on a squeaky toy. And then inside this cabinet, we're going to use the lock pick that we got from the that secret room and take the lethal poison. There's a few different types of poison. Uh, you need the lethal poison in order to kill her from the panic room, that is. So now that we got that, we are going to just go make our way up to the roof. There's a set of locked doors here. We can use that lock pick to open it. Now be careful off to the left hand side there's going to be some people walking around make sure they don't spot you as you go up the stairs here just to my right they shouldn't see you now once i get to the roof i'm going to equip a gun because there are going to be a couple guys here uh, just in the essence of time i'm just going to shoot them kill them just to make it quick and, and easy there's alternate ways you can do this if you like to go in as a no kill run wasn't very clean but we got the job done all right so the panic room is going to be right on this corner over here right below me and there's a ventilation system there as well but what we need to do is get her into the panic room so we're going to create a disturbance i'm going to shoot through the glass here make sure you don't actually hit her so just shoot through the glass it's going to create some disturbance they're not going to know where you're at she's going to run to the panic room thinking she's safe well she's going to be wrong we're going to feed the ventilation system that poison that we acquired from the cabinet in the bathroom, which you do from right here. Now, I'm waiting for her to get into the panic room before I actually inject the poison into the ventilation system. However, you can actually do it now or earlier. It doesn't matter when you do it. So we're going to hit the triangle button, put the poison in there, and she's going to die. Now, if you want to finish out the mission, feel free. Otherwise, once she's dead, you can reload your save if you created a manual save, which is what I will do in just a moment. All right, so load. I'm going to load that manual save. We will be making another save in a little bit as well. And it's really just to save a whole bunch of time. All right, so we're back where they're entering the house right after that cutscene. 
And I'm going to go into that same bathroom where we got the poison. And that bathroom is where uh, Orson is going to shower. I'm going to pick up the squeaky toy so I don't make any noises accidentally. Now at this point, it's going to take about five to six minutes before our target enters the bathroom. So let's cut to the chase here. I skipped five and a half minutes of, uh, of waiting. And now I'm going to kill her. You well, kill her however you want. It doesn't really matter at this point, but make sure she, uh, her boyfriend there is in the shower. If everything's all steamed up, the mirror steamed up and the shower's steamed. So no one can see you at this point. I'm going to create a second manual save. Create a new save spot, or you can overwrite your existing one. It doesn't really matter. But creating that manual save is going to save you six more minutes of waiting behind that bathtub. All right, so once everything's all fogged up, you're free to come up, take her out however you would like. And that is the second kill required for the house cleaning trophy. The only one that's left is killing her with a pillow. So I'm going to reload my previous save. We're back in that bathroom. I didn't have to wait there for five minutes again. You will have to wait a few more minutes for them to finish the shower, finish their awkward conversation, and then they'll walk into the bedroom. Now we're going to kill her with a pillow. Really simply, you're just going to smother her when she goes to sleep. So we're going to have to wait a few minutes for that to actually occur. So a few minutes later, they finally go to bed. We need to make sure they actually go to sleep. We don't want to try to sneak up on them and, and be detected. That would be very bad. But of course, we could just reload the save at that point. Now, if you notice underneath the bed, uh, there's another squeaky toy. I don't know if you can barely see it. But there is a squeaky toy there. So as I'm sneaking up to the bed, I got to make sure I don't step on the squeaky toy and make a noise. So what I'm going to do is actually pick the squeaky toy up. And she should be falling asleep here. Her arm's going to fall off to the side here. And it looks like I'm good. So let's go ahead and smother her with a pillow. We will earn the trophy. It doesn't matter that I reloaded saves. It all just, it all tracks anyway. Walk up, just hit the triangle button to smother her with the pillow. And you will now have finally earned the house cleaning trophy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want me to make more Hitman videos, let me know in the comments. Of course, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe.